My name is Lesiamono Lesempele, also known as Chef Les. I am an executive chef at Nyamamama restaurant. This is Everyday Home by Safaricom Newsroom. And today we are cooking goat ragu, ugali, some broccoli and mushrooms, and a small starter of my indichoma. Karibu. <music> Doing a bit of prep for our meal today, which is uh, goat ragu uh, with a bit of ugali and uh, broccoli, broccoli and mushrooms. I know that's a very strange combination, but trust me on this. This might take some time, but it cooks a lot faster and it extracts flavor much, much faster. And apart from goat ragu or goat stew, you can also use, you can do the same with beef or mushrooms as a vegetarian option. Leeks, which have uh, quite a similarity onions very flavorful and they add an amazing body to your your food here we have chopped onions leeks and um, garlic which we've finely minced and then we have some celery and carrots which we've all, we've also chopped up into small chunks and our goat which is slightly it's almost the same size as your vegetables so some salt give this a good mix some oil there you go Our meat is ready for the pan. What we are going for here is uh, sealing the meat on the outside, retaining all the juices inside. That gives you a uh, a more flavorful stew because we're going to fill this up with sauce then we'll we'll need a much bigger pot so a little bit of oil to sweat our vegetables just a bit and we'll give this a minute to heat up Lick and garlic all go in together. Smell the aroma from the garlic already. Then our carrots and celery go in. We just want to um, extract flavor from our vegetables by sauteing them a bit in, in oil. That gives it a nice aroma and, uh, you know, cooks them a little bit, begins the cooking process. In goes our salt. And because we cut this into small dices, as you can see, they cook very fast. So in we have about 
we have one onion which we finely sliced. We have five cloves of garlic which we've minced. Uh, we have a small piece of leek, uh, just one small piece of leek that we've also finely chopped. And then two carrots and one stalk of celery. Tomato paste. Uh, two tablespoons of tomato paste. meat goes back in. We let this uh, cook for about a minute or two. Then we, we're going to put in our wine. I'm using a Malo Cabernet because of its subtle yet slightly gamey flavor. So I've put in two cups and we'll now just let this simmer down slowly before adding in our stock and finishing it off. And as this goes on, we're going to go ahead and steam our vegetables, make our, our corn and finish off with our ugali. Voila! Roll it in the juice. Roll it some more. Uh -huh. There we go. I take some chili. Some chili powder. This is inspired by the, the corn that we've eaten, the maindichoma that, we've, that I've grown up eating. Salt. and into the oven goes, simple. Just some salt, some chili, and a little bit of butter. My oven is at 190 degrees, and we'll put that on for about 15 minutes. Goes in, just until it's covered. So that's about a cup and a half. We'll check on the seasoning. Salt is perfect. Traditionally, ragu is made with lots of tomatoes, but we've used a tomato paste for ours, and we let this cook down completely until all the water, all the sauce evaporates and coats the meat nicely. I just uh, lightly sauteed or cooked this in a bit of butter. You can use oil, regular oil. And then in goes my, my broccoli, which I steamed very lightly. And then I'll put in some oyster sauce. Right. Gully for the clan. <laughs> nice and soft to gully. You can see the texture because of the cream that we put, so it's nice and rich. This is very, very nutritious.
mahindi choma ugali uh, i've used yellow and refined maize meal it's richer it's tastier put in a little bit of cream so it's nice and rich and you know filling some goat ragu goat stew uh, that has dices of carrots leek celery finished it off with a bit of wine and uh, goat stock that i had boiled from the the bones and then i just have some simply uh, steamed broccoli and mushrooms that i have tossed together with a little bit of butter and oyster sauce if you do not have oyster sauce you can go ahead and use some soy uh, or simply put salt and pepper and it's more than fine